hello, one and all. My name is Rio and welcome to another match day vlog. So today I will be off to Bowerfold to watch Staley Bridge Celtic v West Didsbury and Charlton in another pre-season friendly. So I cannot wait for today's game and even more so after the fantastic news we all heard the other night because at long last, finally, the FA announced that spectators are now allowed to attend matches involving clubs from step three below so basically the league below Chester FC and downwards which is fantastic and also reassuring news albeit at a reduced capacity because for example only 300 people can attend today's game at Bowerfold which is of course better than nothing although in my opinion I do think the new rules set by the DCMS or the FA or whatever is a little bit ridiculous because I do think it should go down to an individual stadium's capacity rather than the entire league because you look at Bowerfold Bowerfold is a 4,000 capacity stadium, so it is one of the biggest stadiums in the Betfic, the Northern Premier League. So 25% of 4,000 is of course 1,000, and I do think 1,000 would be more than enough for today's game. So rather than 300, which is nowhere near enough for Staley Bridge because they do uh, get decent attendances, I do think today's game should be capped at 1,000, which of course will be a lot more significant than 300. But I do think it is a little bit ridiculous by the FA, although it is better than nothing. So cannot wait for today's game. And also, I will have to arrive at Staley Bridge a little bit earlier than usual today, because if more than 300 people turn up at the turnstile, then unfortunately Staley Bridge will have to turn away a few people. And I don't want to be one of those people, so it it is important that I do turn up a little bit more earlier than usual today to ensure I do get into watch all of the action unfold. So yeah, can't wait for today's game because I have never been to Staley Bridge before and in my opinion Bowerfold is an absolutely superb stadium for the league Staley Bridge do play in because in my opinion I do think Bowerfold is definitely a league to standard stadium because you have loads of nice terracing there a lot of nice seated areas too so can't wait to tick yet another stadium off my list ground 75 I do believe it will be today and also hopefully be another really good game as well hopefully be another goal fest too because three leagues do separate both sides with Staley Bridge being three leagues above Didsbury so yeah hopefully be another good game today so can't wait for it now so of course I hope you all enjoy today's match day vlog if so please like subscribe and also comment down your thoughts of the game below. So without further ado, let's get into today's vlog right now. Enjoy. Staley Bridge Celtic are of course based in Greater Manchester in Lancashire who play in the Bet Victor Northern Premier League which of course is only one division below Chester FC. So last season was quite a decent one for Celtic as they finished in a respectable 12th place in mid-table although sadly again their season was curtailed due to Covid-19 so their campaign was voided although 12th place was quite a respectable campaign for them because in previous seasons following their relegation from the National League North a few years ago they often battled relegation so Staley Bridge often were in and around the relegation places so a mid-table finish was a better one for them and a slight improvement so hopefully for Staley Bridge they will improve even further this season because hopefully for them they will mount a playoff challenge because I would love Staley Bridge to go back up to the National League North providing Chester FC do stay down of course which I would hate to happen but if it does happen one day then hopefully Staley Bridge will go back up because in my opinion Staley Bridge has the potential to be a fantastic local away day because of course it is only based in Greater Manchester and they have a fantastic stadium too so hopefully in the near future Staley Bridge will go back up to the National League North because in my opinion the Northern Premier League 
league is definitely not to their level because back in the day, Staley Bridge were a established Conference North and even a Conference Premier team. So hopefully they will be in a similar division in the near future. So best of luck to Staley Bridge for the season ahead and hopefully they will mount a promotion challenge. And also Staley Bridge Celtic have one former Chester FC player. So striker Chris Holroyd played for Chester City between 2006 and 2008. So 14 years ago now, a really long while ago, but he was here for two years before we sadly went out of business. So anyway, I'm not too keen on Holroyd because especially what he did for that lot against us a few years ago. So yeah, not too keen on him but anyway Holroyd did sign for Staley Bridge a few months ago I believe back in February and he has also signed on for the coming season too so anyway with that all being said again I would like to wish Staley Bridge Celtic all the best for the season ahead in their playoff push <laughs> Meanwhile, West Didsbury and Chaldon will be making the short journey from Greater Manchester in Lancashire, who play in the North West Counties League Division 1 South, which is three leagues below Staley Bridge. So it should be a resounding home win today, but who knows in pre season as anything can happen. So, anyway, like Staley Bridge, Didsbury's season was curtailed again last time out due to COVID-19 so sadly their season was voided and it was quite a good one for Didsbury as they secured a sixth place finish before lockdown which was uh, quite a good season for them so like Staley Bridge they will be hoping to push on even further this time out and hopefully for them they will mount a promotion challenge too so hopefully just to like Staley Bridge West Didsbury and Chaldon will also have a successful season so anyway like Staley Bridge I would like to wish West Didsbury and Chaldon all the best for the season ahead because just like Staley Bridge they will be hoping to mount a promotion challenge. <laughs> My score forecast for today's game is Staley Bridge Celtic 2, West Didsbury and Chalter Nils. So for Staley Bridge, I think Chris Holroyd and Kyle Hawley will score for them today. So I do think it will be quite an easy and comprehensive home win today because, like I say, three leagues do separate both sides. So I do think Staley Bridge will have too much quality for Didsbury to live up with, really. So hopefully I will be right today and hopefully I will witness a couple more goals too to keep up my brand new season in the best possible way. Without further ado, my match day vlog for today's game will be coming up right now, hopefully showing you all of the goals and of course all of the action too. So anyway, of course, I do hope you all enjoy today's video. If so, please like, subscribe and also comment down your thoughts of the game below. So let's get into today's match day vlog right now. Enjoy. <laughs>
I have now arrived at Barrafold, ready for today's friendly between Staleybridge Celtic and West Didsbury and Chaldon. So it certainly is an absolutely superb stadium for the league Staleybridge playing because, of course, Staleybridge play one league below Chester. But my words and my opinion, I definitely think Barrafold is certainly a league two standard stadium because you have loads of cover here, lovely terracing, some nice seated areas. And of course to the left hand side of me too you do have the hills of the peak district overlooking the stadium too so it's a lovely picturesque ground and my word i really like it i'm really surprised i haven't been here before because chester and Staleybridge have locked horns a few times over the years so hopefully one day maybe a Staley Bridge will get promoted back to the National League North or even the Conference Premier which is uh, where they have spent a lot of their history too so yeah beautiful stadium and also it is absolutely excellent to have spectators back watching step three matches and below because uh, the last two weeks I've been to uh, a couple of fields really basically and so I have enjoyed watching football matches again but it is you know great to go to a proper stadium again because Barrowfold is a proper stadium so I do think hopefully it should be a good game today because three divisions do separate Staley Bridge and today's visitors West Didsbury so I do think it will be quite a easy comprehensive home win for Staley Bridge today but you never know in a friendly because of course in pre-season fixtures a lot of trialists are played and you don't, you don't know what to expect really so you never know really but I do think it will be an easy home win today and also hopefully it will be my third consecutive goal fest because the uh, first two games I have been to in pre-season have been really good entertaining games so hopefully be another goal fest today so yeah lovely day today for it it was raining before but the sun is coming out now and hopefully it will be another fantastic game so cannot wait for the game now hopefully be another fantastic spectacle <laughs> Here is Staley Bridge Celtics squad for today's game. And here is West Didsbury and Charlton's squad for today's match. Enjoy the vlog.
Pat Sonny, Sunsea 1, West Lisby and Charlton now.
Bridge Celtic 4 West Didsbury and Charlton nil. So yet again enough really entertaining game today to continue my brand new season in the best possible way as I witnessed another goal fest today because Staley Bridge were by far the better team for the entire 90 minutes as they outclassed a rather toothless Didsbury team who just never got into the game at all. Although their supporters were absolutely magnificent today because I would say Didsbury took about 50 odd supporters who uh, were singing for a lot of the game even though they were 4-0 down and whatever they were losing for most of the game but their supporters were absolutely superb so fair play to them it's just a shame for them that the players never put in as much effort on the pitch as the supporters did in the stands but yeah well played to the Didsbury supporters but I do 
think the actual team were really toothless today. But anyway, well played to Staley Bridge, who were by far the better team. And I would say, all in all, another really good game today because the actual standard of football on offer was okay. Uh, Staley Bridge, like I say, they were the better side and they played some decent stuff in some periods. However, as I said when I arrived to the stadium, uh, Barrafold is only a few miles away from the Peak District and the conditions certainly hampered the game today because non-stop for the entire 90 minutes, especially in the second half, it was so windy so it was really blustery today because there was a strong backlash coming from the Peak District which certainly didn't help the flow of the game too because a lot of the ball spent its time in the air. It was a little bit like a hoofball contest. Unlike last weekend, funnily enough, Enough in the other side of Manchester in Rochdale which was quite ironically a game played by two lower sides so yeah I do think it was really windy today which certainly didn't help and also it never helped me either because I was wearing a t-shirt shorts and also pool shoes today but in the second half in particular it was quite chilly so maybe that is a lesson for next time so anyway the first half was okay not loads of action but I would still say Staley Bridge were by far the better team and it was Staley Bridge Celtic who did take the lead because only 10 minutes into the game Staley Bridge scored an absolutely fantastic goal a fantastic team move too and it was a trialist who did get the end product it was a really good goal by him too because the ball looped all the way into the far side of the goal into the bottom left hand corner so a really good goal by the trialist to, uh, today who made made a fantastic first impression so the first half was okay meanwhile the second half was a lot more better which is quite ironic really considering it was a lot more windy which did affect the overall style of play on offer but I would say there was a lot more action because in particular on the hour mark the floodgates well and truly opened because I'd say Staley Bridge scored about three goals in seven minutes so a really mad and manic spell by them to really blow did spree away and to really seal the game so first of all it was Chris Shell Prifty who made it 2-0 to Staley Bridge Celtic so a bit of a simple goal by him as he simply wrapped it home into the far corner while a few moments later Ben Woods got his first goal of the game to make it 3-0 to Staley Bridge Celtic as again a nice simple goal by him a nice individual goal because it was a nice piece of skill beforehand before he simply fired the ball into the near post and finally a minute later Ben Woods got his second goal in the space of a minute to make it 4-0 to Staley Bridge Celtic so a nice team goal this time as it was a nice cross by the Staley Bridge winger and all Ben Woods had to do was simply slotted home albeit he was given a helping hand by an opposing defender as his shots did take a big deflection but anyway it didn't matter too much for Ben Woods or Staley Bridge Celtic so all in all a really good game today a nice four goal thriller today because Staley Bridge played some good football so and also there was some abject defending by the opposing team today but anyway nice to go to a proper stadium for the first time since March because no offence but I have been to two fields in recent weeks like Warstone to Wanderers and also Rochdale Sacred Hearts last week no offence but they were basically fields so anyway nice to go to an actual proper stadium today and hopefully I will go to another one next weekend <laughs> Anyway, this is the end of my third match day vlog of the new season, so I do have a busy week coming up because, first of all, on Wednesday, Chester FC Digest Season 2 Episode 3 will be out, so make sure to stay tuned. And also, on Wednesday night, I will be going over to Blaken to watch Blaken Youth versus Chester FC under 18s in a friendly, so I will be going to that game over at Cairns Crescent, although I won't be doing a vlog, so I will be having a night off on Wednesday. Meanwhile, on Friday, I have been requested to go over and film uh, the Hospice of the Good 
Shepherd Football Club in the charity game over at Hall Playing Fields. So I will be doing another match day vlog on Friday and of course finally on Saturday I will be going on another ground hop so a really busy week coming up. Three videos all in all so just to recap it off once again on Wednesday Chester FC Digest will be out. And on Friday, another match day vlog will be out for the Hospice of the Good Shepherd football charity game. And of course, on Saturday, another ground top, so a busy week for me. But anyway, of course, I do hope you all enjoyed today's neutral match day vlog. If so, please like, subscribe, and also comment down your thoughts of the game below. So see you all on Wednesday for Chester FC Digest. <laughs>